How are you doing today, Puff? Good. How about yourself? Doing well. Um, wh what do you feel like was was working for you uh, in the second half on on Saturday, and then you know th this season? What has it been like for you, going from the bench to the starting lineup, back to the bench? What what has this been like for you? I just say it's been a year of adjustments and just doing what uh, coach needs me to do, and that's always been what I've like. Uh, that's always been one thing I can hang my hat on is to do what coach needs me to do and just. Uh, be a team player in whatever aspect that may be and uh, go out there and uh, impact the game in as many ways as possible and just being aggressive and um, being the player that uh, the coaches want me to be and being the player I want to be. For Meach, you've been getting some really good minutes lately and Coach Rhodes said you've been playing really offensive like a junkyard dog. Is that the mindset you've had this season? Is that what you're trying to do when you get your minutes during the game? Yeah, um... You know, I wasn't really playing that much in the beginning of the season, but, uh, you know, I, I just stayed the course. And once I got the minutes that I, you know, earned and, you know, worked for, um, I knew that, you know, my role was to be that, you know, that junkyard dog and um, rebound, screen, and just play as hard as I can. So um, it's been good to, you know, have, you know, minutes that, you know, I earned and, and uh, worked for. Meach, you mentioned uh, that you didn't play early in the season and that you kind of just put your head down and worked. What is that like for you mentally, you know, maybe expecting or wanting to have a bigger role and not kind of having that? And does it make it more gratifying now that you're seeing the court more? Yeah, um, it was definitely kind of hard. But, um, you know, I, I just I just can't give up. Like, son told me not to give up and, you know, just keep working, you know, keep going to practice and keep, you know, playing hard and having that mindset just to go every day and work hard. And, um, you know, opportunity came um, and I took it. And, you know, having that role at that junkyard dog is uh, is great for right now. But, you know, I'm just keep on adding on, um, adding on to it and, uh, and I build on my confidence. There we go. Uh, Demetrius, you played in the Fon game last year. Puff, this will be your first one. What does that game mean to you and to be able to play uh, in a game that means so much to the Penn State community? Um, it it uh, means a lot, you know, playing for the kids and, uh, you know, just having that, you know, bar and on you, like, like we're playing for the kids, we have to win. And, um, you know, like we had a role game actually last game while Thon was going on and we came back um, around like, you know, like 11 o'clock and came back and Thon was going on and we just, like half our team just stayed and just experienced that like great time there. So playing for Thon is, and like uh, playing for the kids is really great. Yeah, to piggyback on that, um, I was learning what it was and I've been talking to my teammates about it like Ye and Jamil and Meech, of course, who stayed and um, seems like a pretty cool experience, and especially one that uh, is unique to Penn State. And it's cool that we get to have a thong game just to support uh, what Penn State's doing and um, all the good efforts that it's raising money for. What have you seen as being some of the challenges of stringing wins together for this team this season? Uh, one thing that I know is that college basketball isn't easy and conference play isn't easy and any game that you play, I mean, both teams go out there and they both try to win. So um, it's just really just uh, honing in on the details and it's the small things that are going to win us games and it's um, just taking, taking it day by day and uh, you'll go through some bad days, but you also go through some high days and it's just keep on staying the course, keep on staying the course and uh, you can't get too high or too low when things don't go your way or things are going your way just because um, it's a two-edged, college basketball is a two-edged sword. So you just got to keep on staying the course and just keep on grinding every day. Hey, guys, thanks for the time. So, Puff, obviously you're a veteran player on this team. How would you say that you've grown from a leadership aspect in your time at Penn State? For sure. Um, the coaches are – expecting a lot out of me and it's not that I wasn't uh people weren't expecting a lot my other years it's just uh they're just expecting me to use my voice more and um I've always been surrounded in my years of college basketball around older more experienced guys and guys that have been there done that and now I'm looked on as a player that's been more like as a more experienced guy and someone that's been in big games and played in big games and so it's just using my voice as much as possible and just uh communicating to everyone in the best way possible and it's just learning each ever each person's personality and it comes with time just because we're a new team and new coaching staff and it's just learning what people need to know and learning how to get that point across uh meach coaches talked about you know you're you're 
kind of changing your body and your transformation coming into the season. Uh, just kind of take me through that process of, of what you needed to change and how that process has been and how you stay in shape during the season. It's uh, funny because, uh, you know, when the, the, there was a whole new coaching staff change and, you know, Coach Rose came in and, you know, we had like our individual meeting talks before we went home for the summer. He said, Meet, if you don't lose 40, like more than 40 or more pounds, you're not going to play next season. And I was like, Wow. Okay, that was uh, you know, very, you know, very uh, very hard to hear. But um, you know, I did it. Went home, lost like forty, like forty five pounds. Um, you know, ate right when I went home. Played like worked out hard when I went home. Um, came back a whole different person. Um, able to like stay like stay more in shape. Um, so it was. It was hard to go home and like lose all that weight because I had that weight for a while. Uh, my first first year of college but you know coming back you know lighter um more healthier you know it was it was the best decision for me Puff, uh, Mike was talking about the the slow starts on the road earlier um you know in in your experience what what's the key so that you don't fall into holes like you did at Ohio State or or Purdue um you know and kind of get what happened in the second half getting that from from the jump definitely uh being on the road especially in uh Power five play and against big crowds and against uh, really strong programs, you just got to start. Uh, you got to create your own energy first off, and you just got to start fast just because it's the whole gym against you, and and sometimes it's even other factors against you, which I'm not going to say. But um, it's just uh, you just got to create your own energy and just know that it's you, what, 30 people that travel against the rest of the people in the building and so that's the biggest thing that's the mindset we have to have for the rest of the year when we go on the road is that it's us versus everyone in this building and we have to come in and take what's ours. Meech, what have you been able to learn from some of the older guys on the team, Q especially, who's been playing college basketball for a good amount of time now? Um, it started last year actually. Uh, I was around a lot of older guys and I seen like the leadership that you need to have in order to play college basketball, you know, the heart, the mindset, um, to, um, to fast forward to this year, you know, having a big, you know, that was in college for, you know, uh, many years, an older guy, just watching him play, just helped me out, you know, from post moves to, you know, how to treat your body, you know, you know, cues in like the hot and cold tub every time at the practice. So, you know, like taking that and just being like, wow, okay, I have somebody older to look up to.